No. Only the bones left? Really? What happened to the thousands of pounds of wasted food that's supposedly thrown out every year? Everything I find around here can't even be considered scraps. At this rate, I'm gonna have to go forage again. And hopefully find edible mushrooms this time. Ah, so bright! What the hell? I can't get out of here when I'm cornered, you idiot! And stop shining that light in my eyes! What? N no. I wasn't... going through your trash. I was... merely passing by. Well, I was going to clean up when I was done. Hey, don't you go thinking that all raccoons are out to sift through your bins. As much as I loathe the possibility of reinforcing that stereotype, I didn't have a choice. And since my brethren won't help me, they could at least forgive me for that. It might seem strange to you, but I'm not going to accept judgment from someone who lives so comfortably. It's easy to ask questions like, why didn't you do this instead when you're not starving? I'm leaving. There wasn't anything to take anyway. You don't waste a crumb, do you? What? Where do I live? The woods. Fitting for an animal like me, isn't it? Oh, how far I've fallen. Is this freedom really much better? You... you'd share your food with me? Really? I'm not too prideful to accept the offer, I assure you. I'm not in a position to refuse help. Lead the way, then. Goodness. Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, there's a lot of... stuff in here. Oh, good, at least you're aware of it. Is this why your trash cans were so empty? You're leaving the garbage in here? <laughs> I should feel right at home. Ugh, maybe this beggar should have been a chooser. I know you probably see my kind as sneaky and unclean, but I'll have you know I used to be incredibly well off. Or at least my family was. I grew up with the best money could buy. Certainly better than this. Fine, fine. I apologize. I told you, though. That stereotype infuriates me. Garbage is absolutely not my style. I'm just going through a rough patch. But I'll find a new fortune someday, and I'll be back living in luxury. And without strings attached. Never mind. You said you had food for me. Seafood. Of course, that's fine. Probably won't be as fancy as the kind I'm used to, but I will accept. <sighs> All finished. It was very edible. Thank you. What? It was more edible than your garbage, at least. Sorry, but my palate is far too sophisticated to call your leftover fish fillet good. It's edible food, and I'm thankful for you letting me eat it. It's not good, though. I... well, maybe I could do better. You don't know. You can tell I grew up rich. Oh, that's a relief. I'd hate to think I'd lost my demeanor. I do not sound pompous. I've just had a formal education. Something you clearly lack. Oh yes, mock my loss of status. How good for you. You'll never know what you're missing out on. 
Mansions, servants, extravagant parties, the best food money can buy. Yes, being rich is just as great as it seems. I wanted for nothing growing up. Why did I leave then? It's not like I wanted to. I had everything. Of course, it was stupid to think I could have such a luxurious upbringing at no cost. When I came of age, my parents informed me that I was going to be forced into an arranged marriage. They seemed to think I'd be happy about it. My husband-to-be was a very wealthy man. Had I gone through with the wedding, my life might have become even more luxurious. But... Well, for starters, the idea of marrying someone I didn't love made me feel a bit sick. I remember growing up hearing my parents snipe at each other over every little thing. I absolutely did not want that to be my life. I wasn't against giving him a chance, but when I met him for the first time, I discovered that not only was he incredibly boring, but he was also ten years older than me. Yes, really. And to top it all off, he wasn't even handsome. Call it shallow if you want, but if he's not interesting and too old, then at the very least he could be attractive. Looks can get you far in life. Looks are why he wanted to marry me. Of course I rejected the idea, but my parents were very clear. It was either marrying him or being cut off. I chose the latter. Yes, and that's why I'm living in the woods. Couldn't exactly afford my own place with nothing, could I? Do I regret it? Sometimes. It's not as though I couldn't have made things work. For a while, at least. But I knew I'd hate it. And... I'm a bit... stubborn. That's why I can't go back. When I left, my mother said I'd come crawling back in no time. I don't think I could live with proving her right. So I've been on my own for about a month now. No, haven't heard a thing from them, or anyone else in my family. I doubt they'd take me back even if I did give up. Anyway, thank you very much for the food. I'll be on my way. What? A deal? What do you mean? Repayment? For that food? Who do you think I am? You could use some help. Well, clearly. But if you think your food is a worthy payment for whatever you need me to do, think again. <laughs> Live here? In this mess? My tent is cleaner than this. I could... clean it. Are you... asking me to be your maid? I suppose I understand your thinking. I stay with you and clean up, thus getting a nicer living space. And I would get to live in a house again. It's not really up to my standards, though. I can still have standards about certain things. Excuse you, I do know how to clean. Of course, I'm not completely incompetent. Well, my nanny was also a maid. She had me help her clean sometimes. She taught me some things. No, I didn't complain to my parents about it. What kind of person do you think I am? She was... nice. And she always made it seem fun. Follow in her footsteps. Cheeky. Just so you know, 
If you have a child, I won't take care of it. Yes, I'll accept your offer of employment and... lodging. Wait, does this house even have a place for me to sleep? The couch? You're kidding. No, I would not like to share your bed. Talk about meager accommodations. Whatever. It's better than nothing. Shall I get started, then? Tomorrow. Oh, fine. Now, since I've agreed to work for you, how about you give me some more to eat, hmm? Thank you very much, Bloody Holla, for the extremely generous Christmas gift. That is absolutely swagalicious of you. Thank you.